Will comes in with a CPU question. This is related to a recent one that we did. Mm. If we remember, we'll link that down below. Will says he currently has a 5800X 3D CPU and a 6950XT GPU. He plays Rust and Call of Duty mainly at 3440 by 1440p, 165 hertz, so that's an ultra wide. And he has a second ultra wide 3440 by 1440p monitor for multitasking. He feels his GPU is fine, but his CPU seems to struggle. Wow, he's running two ultra wide monitors. Will and everybody else, let's take a walk. Mm. We recently had a question asking about upgrading a 5800X to a 5800X 3D in a similar situation. And my generalized advice is it's not really worth the trouble. It won't be as impressive as you think it is when you watch all of the benchmarks. Most 5800X 3D reviews, including from some YouTubers who post chart after chart after chart, with all due respect, they test at 1080p high detail with a 4090. That is not a real world use case. And I'm sure there's three people out there who do that, but that is absolutely ridiculous. A 4090 at 1080p high detail is not what you are likely to be doing. And of course, Will here is not. John, the guy who asked the previous question is not. And the vast, vast, vast majority of people are not. Mm -hmm. And what happens is people see those benchmarks and they proudly proclaim on the internet, oh, the 3D chips are the best gaming CPUs in the world. Oh, they're so amazing, incredible. They're so much faster than the non-3D chips. They're faster than Intel. They're the best things ever. Everybody should buy them no matter what. Yes, that's all true with a 4090 at 1080p. But those results do not translate. Into this. To 1440p ultra wide. Two of them. Two of them. At 165 hertz. Especially with a 6950 XT, which is not a 4090. No. So. Interesting he says his CPU is struggling and not his GPU. I don't feel he's got enough GPU for those monitors. It's an eight core 16 thread Zen 3 CPU. It's good, but it's not that good. And it and Rust is a challenging game to run. And while 3D chips Call can, of Duty is too, isn't it? Yes, the 3D chips help Call of Duty, but with all of that on the screen in his video card, it's, I'll bet his CPU is just tasked capacity. It's like, I'm giving it all she's got. Um I Scotty, give me more. He, Will has good monitors. He has a good graphics card that, let's be honest, with your monitor configuration, you kind of need to just always be upgrading. I've said this before, I'm gonna yeah. say this again. Mm -hmm. The upside to buying a premium monitor is it could last you a long time. Yeah. You buy a ultra wide, high resolution, high refresh rate quality monitor, maybe 4K, maybe 1440p or 1600p ultra wide. You get a high refresh rate, IPS super speed panel with one millisecond true grade to grade response time. You could keep that thing for the next 10 years and have an awesome experience. The downside is you are committing yourself to upgrading your computer constantly because trying to drive that screen is so demanding. You basically have to buy the next top end graphics card every generation, every two years you're doing well, that's crazy. Who upgrades a graphics card every two years? Your use case does? People who have dual ultra wide, high refresh rate monitors and want to play games and not stutter. You're multitasking. Yep. You, are, you are playing demanding games. Mm -hmm. You're playing them at high refresh rate. There's only two CPUs you should buy. First of all, if you want to stay with AMD, skip the 7900 XT, go straight to a 7900 XTX. You are the person who should get the XTX on the GPU on the GPU with the 24 gigs of VRAM versus yeah. the 20 gigs. I normally advise people to buy the 7900 XT. X, but he's, his use case yeah. needs the extra. Go straight to the top. Do not pass go. Do not collect $200. Pay all your money for the card. Thankfully, they're not available for under 1000 bucks, at least in the United States. Or go buy a 4090. As crazy expensive as that sounds, it really is not. It's next level. You'll... 
you're the 4090 buyer. Buy the top card from either company, it doesn't matter which. Now you have a 6950 XT, which is the best 6000 series card. Mm -hmm. You need to replace that with the next best card. And I hate to tell you, but when the 8000 series comes out or the 50 series comes out, you're buying that yeah. too. Mm -hmm. And that's your future from now on. And if you didn't know that when you bought those monitors, now we're talking, I need to be clear on something. We are talking about people who want to keep up with the newest games, who yep. want to play the newest AAA games. Oh, a new Call of Duty is coming out. Oh, a new whatever, Cyberpunk mm -hmm. expansion pack is coming out. Oh, Starfield's coming out. Okay, mm -hmm. oh, this is coming out. You are always upgrading. Yep. Now, so graphics card, you need an upgrade. Yep. CPU, you need a new machine. Yeah. And here's the tough one. Do you go with an i9-13900K or a Ryzen 9 7950X 3D? They're the only two ones you should consider. And before everybody goes screaming to the comment section, oh, by the way, please do, we appreciate the engagement. But to anybody who says that a 7800X 3D is all he needs because gamers don't need more than eight cores, he has oh. dual ultra-wides. He is doing more than just gaming. Multitasking, gaming. And a 7800X 3D is just his current chip with a 20% boost of IPC and clock speed. Mm -hmm. It's the exact same chip with a slight bump. It would be a very sad, depressing upgrade. A 7800X3D is $450 right now. A 7950X3D is about $600. Mm -hmm. That's $150 more. For $150 more, you glue a 7700X onto your 7800X3D. You're, you're getting the extra course for half price. It's a no-brainer. Or you get a 13900K. At 1440p, there is no practical difference in performance between a 13900K and a 7950X3D. I have both. My home gaming machine is a 7950X. My work machine is a 13900K. At 1440p ultra wide, pick your favorite. It does not matter. But that's a new motherboard, that's new RAM, and for your use case, DDR5. Do not yeah. put a 13900K 13, in there with DDR4. There are cases where it's okay, yours isn't one of them. No. So, new RAM, new motherboard, new CPU. Pass by. <clears throat> build a new computer. Keep your current computer, sell your computer, that's where you're at. There's nothing else to be done. You can then keep that for Three years, and you're doing it again. And then you're doing it again. You can, if you do that now, you can probably skip 15th and 16th gen, which is 2024 and 2025. Arrow Lake comes out next year. It's on a new socket, LGA 1851. And then in 2025, Lunar Lake comes out also on that 16th gen, also on LGA 1851. Skip that. Wait for Beast Lake in 2026. <laughs> Three years from now, so basically you're yeah. skipping every other Intel socket if you go the Intel route. Mm -hmm. That means that three years from now after building a brand new 13900K, or if you wait till October the 14900K, same thing, 200 megahertz faster, 14900K, you're keeping it three years and then you're replacing the entire machine again. And if you don't like that answer, then you need to change your monitors. <laughs> yeah, that's, oh, that or don't play new games. Or, or scale back your games. Or accept 60 hertz and and frame lock your games to 60 frames a second. Yep. And this is a message that is not shared often enough because you can buy high refresh rate monitors for very little money. There was a deal on Prime Day recently for 4K, 144 hertz, 27 inch monitors for like under $400. But, but 4K, 144 hertz requires a lot of the best mankind has to offer in the computer. You buy a four hundred dollar monitor and you need four thousand. Well, you don't need a four thousand. You need a three thousand dollar computer to run it. That's missed so much. It is. What would you add to all this? If he's using it for work, then it makes sense to go ahead and do the upgrade. If it's more just to play games and just to kind of hang out on the weekend, then... 
While it's late in this to say it, you do not need a 13900K and a 4090 to play Rust in Call of Duty. <laughs> I mean, an Xbox Series S for yeah. 200 bucks does that. Mm -hmm. A Ryzen 5 5600 and an RX 6600 will do that at 1080p high detail just fine. But he doesn't have 1080p. That's the point. He wants a premium experience. It's going to cost money. It's a new build. There's premium. nothing to do with it except replace it. And it's everything's new. RAM's new. And also, unless he built that very recently, storage. Mm. If you built that a year ago, you'll be shocked when you price storage right now. Right now, you can buy a 2 terabyte Samsung 980 Pro, one of the best Gen 4 NVMe drives on the market, for 100 bucks flat. That's incredible. Those things were near 300 bucks 18 months ago. It wasn't yeah. that long. Mm -hmm. You can buy decent Gen 3 drives for less, but these prices, you know, you wouldn't do anything less. So you may want to do a storage upgrade. Take whatever your current boot drive is, maybe, and move it down, except wouldn't you kind of keep his current machine intact as a machine and just leave it? Either sell it as a complete machine. Or unless he's got kids or a nephew or something, it, it, can, it can go down the line somehow. It'd also be the best backup machine ever. Oh my gosh, could you imagine? Hopefully that helps you, Will. It may not be the answer you wanted, but... We're here to... We're here to give you the truth. Okay. <laughs> uh, Dead BC and Jet says, sounds like this PC gaming thing can get expensive. It can. But it doesn't have to be. But you've, you've got to build a balanced machine. The monitors need to match the computer. Which match the games, which matches your experience. And our kids at home have 1440p, 144 hertz monitors. Mm -hmm. But they play Minecraft, Fortnite, right. Overwatch. Just Cause, Terraria. Those things play great, Roblox. Those things play fine on... Less expensive CPUs, less expensive video cards. Because they're not trying to play Cyberpunk at 4K, 144 hertz at ultra ray tracing detail. Mm -hmm. If you want to do that, you're buying the best video card forever. Yeah. Will says he's got a 3 terabyte M.2. There you go. There you go.